It's February, and that means it's been another year of World of Tanks console. Ten years this time around, and they have some special things for us to earn for this milestone in their game's life cycle. Firstly, we'll start with the sales. All month and up to March 4th, we have premium time sales from 10% for one day of premium, up to 50% off for 360 days of premium. There's also a free XP conversion rate of 1 gold for 40 free XP this time around, as well as 50% off all cosmetics and camos. Friendly reminder too, the Calliope skin wasn't free from the Resolutions event, but if you want to get it now while it's 50% off, well, it's only 1,500 gold rather than 3,000. Additionally, all equipment is 25% off, as well as all War 2 Tech Tree tanks being 30% off. Sorry, Cold War. And of course, we have some premium tank sales too. 15% off of a selection of Cold War and World War II premiums, but those selected tanks are also available for free XP. This selection of premium tanks do change per week, so keep an eye on the What's Happening articles every week to see if a tank you've been waiting to buy goes on sale. This list here on screen is this first week's list from February 6th to the 12th. I will have all articles for everything mentioned here in the description, and will update the description with future articles for you if you happen to be watching this later in the month. Also in the store are bundles for boosters that are 50% off, as well as consumables. But let's be real, who's buying consumables with gold? Don't let that be you. While you're in the store, you might notice a new war chest option, that being the new Celebration War Chests. These chests are similar to the tank war chests we saw a few months back. However, these are half the price and contain more tanks and tanks of higher tiers and even Cold War tanks. For a refresher on how these chests works, they are bought with gold only and have a drop pool that looks like this, with your drop chances listed in percentages. You're seeing that correctly, a 10.5% drop chance on tanks. These chests have sort of a bad luck protection system to them, Previously, if you didn't get a tank with 25 chests, they would guarantee you a tank on that 25th chest, which, at the price of 1,000 gold previously, that was $100 worth of gold before you got a guaranteed tank. This time around, the guaranteed tank comes at the 50th chest, but since they are half the price, that's still $100 value for a guaranteed tank. However, that guaranteed tank is of the epic rarity. Yes, the tanks in these chests have rarities. There are two rarities, Rare and Epic. The Epic tanks contain Tier 9 and 10, as well as Cold War Premium tanks. Getting a Rare tank does not reset your counter towards your Guaranteed tank, because that Guaranteed tank is an Epic. So it's entirely possible to get a bunch of Rare tanks and still get a Guaranteed Epic tank on your 50th chest. That's probably the biggest difference between the previous chests and these ones. However, they still share the fact that getting a duplicate tank from these chests will only give you silver back rather than gold. If you own most of these tanks on this list, don't go buying these chests thinking you'll get more gold back than you spend. And don't worry, there are some earnable and free celebration chests that you can get this month as well, and I'll point those out when we get to them. If you've played at all this week, I'm sure you've seen the Community Earn Challenge going on. This challenge goes up to 85 million points and rewards us with silver, premium time, boosters, the Tier 3 Lago Medium Tank, which if you're watching this, has already been earned at 10 million points, and the Tier 6 T3488, which is the pinnacle award at the end of the challenge, as well as exclusive emblems and three Celebration War Chests along the way. To earn points for this challenge, you simply have to deal 1250 or more damage in any number of battles for one point, survive a battle for another point, and destroy one vehicle for two points. You cannot progress this challenge in co-op, so get in multiplayer. Whenever the community reaches a milestone, it will automatically be rewarded to everyone in the game or upon your next login. You might have also seen this week the Lucky 7's event mode as well. This event mode only lasts till the weekly reset, so get in there and get your rewards before they're gone. You can earn a week of premium time, one celebration war chest, one private war chest, one sergeant war chest, but most importantly, you can earn the old ranked Grasslands camo, making even more clear their intent to turn these event modes into ranked with rewards and hopefully a future league structure. But for now, the reward structure is to just earn 150 points to max out the op. You earn points by placing on your team in different spots, win or loss. As long as you're not bottom of the leaderboard, you will be earning points. 
So be quick, because it won't be around all month like everything else in this video. What will be around all month is the urn challenge that started later in the week for the King Dragon. This challenge is more so tied into the season rather than the anniversary, but it's something worth mentioning here. You will need 250 points to fully complete this challenge, which will obviously reward you the Tier 8 King Dragon, but along the way you will also earn the Cinnabar Hero Skin for the new Cold War Premium Tank that's unlocked in the Paid Season Pass at level 100, the WZ-1224. To get points, you receive 1 point for damaging an enemy with fire, 1 point for blocking 375 damage or more in a battle, and 1 point for dealing 1000 damage in a battle. But, if that damage is dealt with a Dragon-type tank, i.e. the Dragon-type 62, the King Dragon itself, the Gornich KV-5, or the Tier 10 Chilin, you will earn an additional point per battle. Now back to Anniversary events, we do have a free login reward tank. Yes, our usual Tier 3 is in the Community Challenge, so are we getting two Tier 3s this year? No. Believe it or not, Wargaming is giving away a Tier 10 Premium for logging in this year. But there is a catch. It's based on the age of your account. For all players with accounts of 7 years or older, you will get the brand new MBTB for free as well as a skin for the tank in your garage upon login starting Tuesday the 13th of February and available up till March 5th's weekly reset time. If your account is not that old, you will still be able to receive the tank but through purchase. And depending on the age of your account, you will have discounts. Accounts less than a year old will have to pay full price. Accounts of one year of age will have 15% off, all the way up to accounts of six years of age having 90% off. If your account's anniversary is within this login rewards availability time frame, that anniversary age will be your credited discount on Tuesday. So say your account becomes seven years old on the 20th. You will receive the tank for free upon login on Tuesday. Same goes for if your account becomes 5 years old on the 18th, you will receive the 5 year discount on Tuesday. If you don't plan on purchasing this vehicle on an account of 6 years or younger, don't worry, you'll still receive free login rewards in this time frame. Everyone will also get this 10 year garage gear item, as well as 3 free celebration war chests. There will also be an urn challenge on Tuesday that rewards you with random items for every third enemy you destroy. These items range from silver to consumables to a new garage gear item of a toy Sherman and a toy tiger duking it out. That's all there is so far in game, but the anniversary news is not over. They released an article looking back at their highlights and achievements as well as stats from the lifetime of the game. Can you believe it? The Tiger 1 is the most played tank. But what's most interesting in this article is that they actually gave us a glimpse at the upcoming month's worth of content. A sort of small roadmap. This roadmap tells us that the Cold War German Lights and Tank Destroyers line will be released within this month, as well as a new monthly challenge in March called Dream Machines, celebrating the first three nations of the game, US, UK, and Germany. Most exciting for me, I must say, is in April, where we are told about another monthly challenge, but most importantly, another new World War II Tech Tree line so soon. This has to either be the American Yo tanks or the Japanese tank destroyers. Either way, I can't wait. They also mention a D-Day anniversary monthly challenge in June, as well as Tank Fest, where I'm sure we'll be updated on more info for the rest of the year. But wait, there's more, because remember that Resolutions event that netted us with the Calliope tank for the past six seasons? They're doing it again, this time called Celebrations. The website portal has been updated with needless features like a progress map of the current season and the ability to compare stats with friends, but what's most important to know is the rewards. While they haven't told us what the tanks are, most likely because they don't know what they will be yet, they have stated that there will be one World War II tank and one Cold War tank to earn. This event will look at the next six seasons, including the one we are currently in. Completing five of the six seasons will get you one of the two tanks for free of your choice, while the other will be full price, as the discounts only count towards one tank. But, if you complete all six seasons, you will earn both tanks for free. So make sure you complete your seasons this year. The World War II tank could be anything, but if I'm to be honest, and this might surprise some of you who know me well, I'm most interested in that Cold War tank. 
If you guys remember the original seasonal model before 6.0, even before WWE and the Valor season, we had seasons that led up to a free tier 10 before. That tier 10 was the iconic object 279E. So it would be really cool if the first Cold War tank from an event like this, spanning multiple seasons, was sort of an homage to that event. Now I'm not saying let's bring the 279E into Cold War, because that would be boring and copy paste. But what we can bring is the 279 with no E. Yes, that tank. This oddly shaped hole in four tracks would be so cool to see in Era 2, but let me know what you think, because I think they could make it work quite well in there. And there you have it. Let's do a quick overview to make sure you got everything. It's Wargaming's 10 year anniversary, and they're treating us with sales on premium time, free XP conversion rates, equipment, camos and skins, premium tanks on a weekly rotator, new celebration war chest to gamble your gold with, a new community challenge to earn our tier 3 Lago and a T3488, a 7v7 team destruction event mode with a reward structure and the return of the ranked camo, a WZ122 4 hero skin and king dragon earn challenge, free and discounted login rewards, a roadmap for the next 4 months confirming a new World War II tech tree soon, and another six season long tank earn event for two tanks this time. Not to mention the season only started last week. There's a lot to do and earn this month, so don't miss out on it. At least make sure you get your login rewards, people. That's some good free loot. With that, I'll let you get to it. Thanks for watching and catch you soon.